gonna show you how to do an outline stitch on a scallop edge like this. So when it looks like, this is called a scallop. So we're gonna grab two strands of light blue. And we're gonna start, since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna start on over here. And we're gonna start on this, uh, this one right here. So we're gonna bring up on the back. And we're gonna do the outline stitch as normal. Remember the outline stitch does curve. It has, it has a tendency to curve. So you use that to your advantage to cover the stamp. And the smaller the stitches, the um, shorter curve, like the, the more tighter the curve you can get. This one's not so bad. I have done tighter curves before. But if you want to preserve the scallop, like the point right here, I'll show you how to do that. It's actually pretty simple. This is a great, um, a great stitch to do for like, like if you're doing a Santa beard. I've done that several times. Okay, so we're coming up to the edge. I'm doing my last stitch. And now I'm actually gonna come down here, just a little bit past where I came. And I'm gonna technically end here. I'm gonna end it right there. Okay, so instead of knotting it and starting over, I'm actually going to um, reposition my, my needle and I'm going to position it on this side of the stitch and it's going to cross over and keep that scalloped edge, the dip, nice and pointed. See how that looks pointed now? Now we're going to keep going. It's amazing what one little position change can do to your stitches. Just by positioning it differently, you don't have to knot it and start over. You can just keep going. Just make sure you don't accidentally pull a stitch out. I've done that on accident before. Coming up to the end here, and the exact same thing, we're going to put our needle down and actually end the stitches. There we go. See how easy that was? I'll show you the back. Here's what the back looks like. And every time we are finished stitching, we knot in the back to secure our work. And I like to hide my tail. It's a it's a habit I got from cross stitching many years ago. <laughs> okay, perfect. And that is how you create a scalloped edge with an outline stitch.